AOMU8 Sports. Dover, Delaware and Columbia, Missouri are 1,017 miles away, or about a 15 and a half hour drive, depending on traffic, of course. Now, while the two cities share the same continent, the two college football teams in those towns might as well be worlds apart when it comes to the on-the-field talent. Mizzou taking on Delaware State today. If you even want to call it a game, it was a game at Faroe Field. Tigers dominate throughout this pass by Locke to Emmanuel Hall. Gets them down to the one-yard line on the next play. Ish Witter up the middle, one yard in. For the score, 7-0 early Tigers. Drew Locke and Jamon Moore in this game became best friends. Nice little screen pass to Moore. He takes it up the sideline. He's going to get all the way down to about the six-yard line for the Tigers. And on the next play, Locke's going to find Moore on this beautiful fade route. Gets the left foot in for the score. And look at this. He's going to channel his inner Rick Flair here. Little woo, little strut, little everything right there. Tigers off and rolling, of course, here. Defense is going to get involved here. Next series, Michael Shear with the pick. He's going to take this down to the four-yard line. And on the next play, Missouri, and once again, Drew Locke will find Jamon Moore. Wash, wins, wash, rinse, repeat, 20 to nothing, or excuse me, 23 nothing Tigers. Mizzou puts up 487 yards and 58 points in the first half, capped off by this incredible grab. Look at this amazing catch by Hall. Tigers break the school record for scoring, demolishing Delaware State 79 to nothing. That is not a typo, people. Meanwhile, down in Jefferson City, we had a high school battle between Halias Catholic and Father Tolton. The Crusaders are currently leading, or excuse me, just won the game 39 to nothing. Halias dominated the ground game, rushing for five touchdowns. Meanwhile, Tolton hasn't been able to move the ball at all, as they will fall to one and five on the season. The Crusaders improved to three and three on the campaign. We will have those full highlights for you at KMU8 News at nine and 10. The team that Mizzou lost to last week, the Georgia Bulldogs, paid a visit to Oxford, Mississippi this week to take on the Ole Miss Run-In Rebels in a pivotal SEC showdown. 12th ranked Bulldogs and 23rd ranked Rebels. This one was all Ole Miss. Jacob Eason is going to get intercepted here, and the Ole Miss corner is off and running to the races. He gets a couple key blocks down the sideline. He goes untouched for the score. Ole Miss goes up 14 to nothing. Later in the game, Chad Kelly's going to take the snap, and it looks like he's going to get sacked right here. Eludes it, and he's just going to heave it to the heavens. And what a grab by the Ole Miss receiver. Running Rebels absolutely destroy Georgia, 45-14. to Now, there's no overstating the pressure the Cardinals face right now. A half game out of the second wild card spot entering today with only eight days left in the season. A win in Chicago would put the pressure on both the Mets and the Giants in their respective games tonight. Cardinals and Cubs at Wrigley. Redbirds rough up Jason Hamill early today. Yadier Molina in the first inning, bases loaded. He will double down the left field line. Two runs will come in to score. Cardinals are up 2-0 early. A few batters later, Steven Piscotti will step up to the dish, and he's going to hit this one to the left field as well. Two more runs will come in to score. Cardinals are up 4-0. Jason Hamill only goes two and a third innings for Chicago. That'll be enough for Alex Reyes today. In the bottom of the fourth inning, he's going to get Chris Bryant here. Look at this nasty curveball. Just catches the outside corner. Chris Bryant not happy, but Reyes absolutely loves it. To the seventh now, it's 7-3 to three Cardinals. And once again, there's that man, Yadier Molina. The potential future Hall of Famer with a single to left field. Two more runs come in to score. Cardinals take a 10 spot on the Cubs and win the game by that score of 10-4. to four. Now, there's not much left for the Royals to play for except pride and, of course, the chance to play spoiler against their division foes. They did just that today against the Detroit Tigers. Royals and Tigers from Can the, the Motor City, excuse me. Tigers in the sixth inning will add on to their lead right here. It was a 3-2 game, and this single to left makes it 4-2 Detroit. This game looks pretty much over. We're going to go to the ninth inning. Francisco, Le or Francisco Rodriguez, two balls, two strikes. Paulo Orlando, though. We'll play spoiler. This one hops the wall in center field. Two runs will come in to score. The Royals tie the game at four on the last strike of the game, potentially. The Royals absolutely love it. A few batters later, Eric Hosmer goes fishing. Look at that shot. Three run shot to right field. Royals go up seven to four. Francisco Rodriguez absolutely stunned. The bench obviously loving it for the Royals. 
Then, in the last play of the game, Alex Gordon will make this diving catch in left field. Royals win the game 7-4. And that's your Sports at 6. We'll be right back after this.